Hmm, I think it's time for another weird and cheap sports game. More than that, it's time to look at a game published by Midas. These UK publishers, well they always seemed to publish weird games. Even the decent ones, usually imports from Japan, were weird. And a lot of them are amusingly crap too. You can find these guys on classics like The Sniper 2, Pro Bodyboarding, and of course the almighty Chris Kamara's Street Soccer. And now this, Mary Kin's Riding Star. And as a bonus, this game's developed by IR Games, the folks who bought you Gaelic Games Football. It's a veritable smorgasbord board of strange sports titles for sports you almost never see in video games. Now as you might have guessed already, Widen Star is all about horses. Now you might not actually think that to be strange, horse racing games are fairly popular in Japan after all, but then so are video games about pachinko so let's not adopt all their standards. There's those old Waste Night DVD games where everyone bets tokens on 20 year old flat racers recorded off the VCR, and who can forget the old Derby game in the arcades where you put your pennies down on the likes of Pat Edwy, Gordon Richards and Lester Piggott. So what's so special about this one? Well unlike most of these, Widen Star is a 3 day eventing game, there's no racing. Instead you do equestrian type things, dressage, cross country and show jumping. The only other game I can think of in the field is the legendary My Horse and Me for the Wii, which is obviously going to provide stiff competition. And Widen Star tries to get the edge with a sponsorship from no lesser figure than Mary Frickin Kin. Yeah, me neither, but she's apparently a famous British free day eventer. Sorry if you're a fan, I guess. Um, Princess Anne was busy when Midas called her up? Too early. Oh, please. Alright, let me reintroduce you to Rider Meet Horse, Horse Meet Rider. I fucking want to murder this guy. Looking at the box, you can see the woman, the legend, the Merrykin herself. She's on a horse. And there's another picture inside the picture where you can see Mary Kin again, only this time she's next to a horse, just in case you had any doubts about what you were getting. This game comes from Midas's pocket price range, meaning that these games are the cheapest of the cheap. Apparently this was 8 quid new, which is something to keep in mind, I guess. I mean that's low budget even for a budget games company. On the back you're promised a fully interactive equestrian simulation, with superb graphics. The screenshots to the side seem to tell a different story on that front. And there's a quick listing of Midas's other games, all of which are obviously great. The most interesting part of the package is the CD itself. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a more plain looking CD than this. Honest to god my first thought was that this was a bootleg, but then who would bootleg this? Mind you Midas are consistent, this utterly no frills branding is shared across the entire pocket price range, or at least on the titles that I have of theirs. Anyway, enough of that, let's jump on the saddle, get the riding crop out and whip our stallion's arse all the way to first place! Uh, not quite yet. That's just one half of riding star, the other half is actually caring for your horse. You play as Sarah Green, an upstanding young eventer in the making, and here's your horse. Star. Not the most imaginative name for a horse, isn't it? Nothing compared to, say, Two-Headed Sex Beast or Zainad Badawi's Twenty Hotels. Anyway, here's the old boy who runs these stables, and with his help you'll take care of your horse and get it in top condition for the events. Now I say help, but what I actually mean is, you'll do all the work, and he'll sit in his cabin with a copy of FHM and a box of Kleenex. You have to make sure your horse has plenty of hay and water, that he's thoroughly groomed using the appropriate tools, that he gets enough time out on the field instead of being cooped up in his stable all day, and everybody's favourite job that all the shit has been shoveled out of his stable and he's got nice new grass to kip down on. Every goddamn day. And so we come to the first big problem, Widen Star's interface. It's all picture based menus, low quality picture based menus where every single thing you click on takes 5 seconds at least to load. It is painful. The low quality means that the icons can be bloody confusing sometimes, you see that there? I wondered at first whether that was a broken bottle, and that worried me. There is enough problems with riding crops as it is, let alone using that to control your horse's movement. Anyway, silly me, turns out it's actually a trough. The less full it is, the hungrier your horse is. Anyway, everything is tedious and confusing. It took me a while to realise that this fin stuck in the corner that you barely see is actually the water supply, from which you grab buckets of water and take to the stable so your horse can get a bloody drink. Kind of important, wouldn't you have thought? 
Now this game was released on PC as well, where I imagine this interface might work out slightly better. The pictures would have been higher quality and they would probably load up immediately from the hard drive as opposed to a CD. On a PlayStation it's torturous, meaning that the whole rigmarole takes a good 10 minutes before you're finally ready to grab a saddle, slap it on the horse and do some racing. And here it is. You can feel the majesty already, can't you? The three events are, well, irritating. Dressage is always first. Basically, you walk your horse around a field and follow various instructions. You control a speed, run in specific lines, semicircles, and so on. Sounds easy enough, but the instructions are confusing. The game tells me to start trotting, so I do, and automatically I get a penalty because apparently I didn't do it at the right time. I mean, Jesus! There's no game that makes me feel more like a total idiot than one where I basically fuck up walking. Eventually this happens three times and I get disqualified. The other two events, cross country and show jumping, are pretty similar. You ride your horse around as quickly as possible and jump some fences. One you do it in a course, the other you do it in a lap. Still, it's hard to get the timing down and sometimes it feels like it doesn't matter. The horse just won't bloody do it. And the presentation for all of this is pretty nasty. Really bad music, Comic Sans fonts, and frankly the worst quality audio commentary I have ever heard. The game's box calls it realistic commentary, which it is in the sense that someone's mouth moved and words came out of it. Anyway, you do these events, you more than likely fail, and you go back home where our man asks us eagerly if we have any ribbons. We don't. And this is his reply. Any ribbons to report? Mm, not the best. Ah, oh, never mind. I mean, God, that's depressing. How much do you reckon this guy's in for? How much money has he spent on this apparent hot prospect who was going to make him a big wad of retirement cash, only for her to be such a complete and total bust? No wonder he spends all his time in the cabin milking his balls. See, the that or quine. Because we're robbing the poor fucker. In all seriousness, that's pretty much it. There's very little else to say here. Obviously the courses do change from one event to the next, I think, but the general rigmarole doesn't. The game just doesn't go far enough. I'd get more of a kick out of it if there was more management involved, if the supplies of hay and water actually ran out or anything, if there were any costs involved in caring for this horse. But they never do. The grooming, feeding and shit shoveling is just something you have to do. It doesn't actually make your horse any better because there's no stats or anything like that. The event in part is something you could get used to and there is a practice mode if you just want to screw around with that. But as far as the meat of the game goes, it all feels very pointless indeed and very cheap. Uh, such is life with these sports games, you get excited to have a look at them, to see something that isn't just football or racing or golf or whatever, but then you see that actually about 10 pence was spent on the game's creation. And yep, 10 pence is about what I would recommend you spend on this. Go and play something like G1 Jockey instead, at least there's actually something at stake there. For now, Star goes back to stud. He's well, he's all the other horses in The Godfather that aren't named Khartoum. Like Lim, he just isn't important enough to have his head sawn off and placed inside a racist movie mogul's bed. Bye for now! Thanks for watching this video. On the end screen you can see all the usual options such as watching another video, a link to my channel and also a link to my Patreon account which is where you can get on the list of the great and the good you see scrolling there. If you follow any of these options then thank you so much. And also don't forget that you can win the bell too. See ya!